Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. Gains. S. Gains. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to bring you an update on the road to becoming a millionaire portfolio. If you've been following this, you know that the last one I did was... What is the last one? I think I updated some of the tokens. Uh, you know, I got a selection of these uh, episodes, which I really think you should check out. If you're new to crypto, you know, you need some guidance. I believe this portfolio is going to set people up for greatness and you could potentially make a million dollars from this just by investing in the coins in, these port in, in this portfolio. I'm going to show you them today and I'm going to show you what we would be doing in this video to come. If it sounds interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Did I say that? This is not financial advice, please. Do your further research before you invest your money. So, <clears throat> I think it was number 24, wasn't it? Can't find it anywhere. Ugh, somewhere here. 24. Uh, so, yeah, new uh, coin switch. That was it. The last one we spoke about was taking out one of the coins and putting in another coin. I remember very clearly it was VXV, and I gave my reasons why. Uh, let's just take a look at the uh, the spreadsheet. Where is it? Hold on, I've got a video here. I need to close down. It's going to be in the way. Uh, hold on, let me find it. No, where is it? I had it all up here. It was an Excel. Let me make Excel sheet. Excel. It's not, it's usually it's down on my tab. It's not there. Hold on, let me just type here Excel. <coughs> Did I close it? Oh, here it is. <coughs> okay. So for those that are new, oh, close that. For those that are new, I was giving you guys a, a certain amount of tokens to build a portfolio. Some being blue chip tokens, which is, you know, coins that are not going anywhere. They're going to be around long term. Uh, we've got mid caps, ones that are in the mid range, you know, 100 million, 200 million, 300 million. These are ones that can grow into blue chips. And then we had some low cap gens, which are classed as high risk, you know, but high risk equals high reward. They're lower in market cap, but they have plenty of room to grow, which means you can make absolute insane gains should they go and perform the way I think they're going to go. <clears throat> I'm going to drop an updated uh, spreadsheet in the info section. Click it, download it if you want to follow this. All I've done is add an extra column here. You see here? And this is going to be the DCA column because that's what we're doing in this video. We're going to DCA. Now, since I did the last, well, let's, let's say the first video. When was the first time I did a video on this whole series? The first time, I, where's number one? Uh, Five months ago. Well, we all know in the last five months. Let me just quickly uh, grab up you know, the coin gecko. Actually, I could use Sandbox. In the last five months, a lot has happened in crypto. We saw the FTX uh, crash and everything else. So prices have obviously fallen a lot more. It was five months in April, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah, about August. Prices have obviously fallen a lot more because of the whole FTX thing and everything else. So... I see it as a perfect buying opportunity to be dollar cost averaging on these tokens. And I'm just going to show you the difference in price as to how much you would have spent back then to what you can get it for right now. And why you should consider dollar cost averaging and taking the fine opportunity to be reaching these price goals a lot cheaper. Now, some people may panic. You know, you may have bought this, you may have bought these uh, as a portfolio, seeing your portfolio drop. Because everyone's dropped, you know, everybody had a little fall, and you might have panicked and sold. Now, that's the wrong way about it, because the best thing to do right now, and this is not financial advice, is to dollar cost average and buy in more of these coins cheaper. Try to reach these goals, because I tell you what, five months ago, it would have been really hard to accumulate a thousand sandbox. Why? Because I was telling you about uh, uh, five months ago, 95 pence was my buy price, which I recommended buying. I thought it was a good buy price, uh, get out price. I thought it was cheap. Well, right now, if you look at sandbox, it's 33 pence. This is a perfect time to DCA, dollar cost average reach these goals because i tell you what five months ago you was probably looking at this portfolio thinking oh, i'm not gonna be able to get a thousand of these it's quite expensive that's a thousand pounds for some right i know a lot of people watch my channel i've got big money watching my channel i've got average people I, I like to see myself as average i make great money in crypto but i still live an average life uh, i could definitely buy the massive whatevers and but i just try to like live an average life you know shopping primark anyway uh, so a thousand of these back then was going to set you back about 900, what is it, let me see, because uh, I said 95 pence, right, so you do a thousand, you times it by the price of what I was saying, so back then it was a 95 pence, just to show you, it's, 90, it's 950 quid, but I'll show you, uh, times it by that, no, hold on, I did it wrong, thousand times 0.95, here we go, <coughs> it would have cost you 95, 950 pounds, 
Well, right now, instead of paying £950 for a thousand, look, 1,000 tokens will set you £339. Cheap! I will say that. Cheap! Let me get close, up close and personal. Cheap! <laughs> I have to do it. It is cheap. You can get this seriously cheap right now. So, I mean, you will probably, because look, I was saying to you in, the, in the, this one here, to get to bag a hundred hundred tokens and that would have been about a hundred pounds right so you know if you're still aiming for this this goal hit this whole line here right because essentially what we have for, for new people is we have a we basically have a portfolio which is you've got your starter coins like i'm going to start off i need something now i need to have access to these coins now let me just ha expose myself to this amount have this amount now and then you've got your accumulation goal which once you've got the hundred you're going to now work harder to get that extra 900 to make it a thousand which you know you are using sandbox right uh and then you have your thousand tokens and then i said to you go for an excess goal which was an additional 1000 coins which amounted to 2000 in total why why go for the excess well at some point sandbox is going to go up six pound 50 50 quid whatever it goes to you want to sell you want to make some profit so you know this is going to be the accumulation uh, amount that you can sell and then you want to have the excess sitting on the side why because you do not want to sell all your tokens at one price because you may sell it at like five pounds and then sandbox jumps to like 30 quid and you've sold all your tokens at five pounds that's why you try to have an excess goal sitting on the side so right now i seriously believe and this is not financial advice that these targets are super easy to accumulate now compared to five months ago right so we're going to do sandbox real quick uh the the, pro the dca price if you was to buy today at the time of recording this video uh is 33 pence and if you you know if you're looking on youtube now and it's gone up you know slightly from 33 pence because it's had a little rally oh hold on uh zero point uh then you know become a patreon because patreons see this video first they're going to look at this and say well, you know i might dollar cost average now and try and reach these goals i want to get my thousand tokens for this i want to get my f uh, 35 tokens for my quant i want to get my you know 100,000 zillica let you know they, they're going to start using these dca DCA prices. What well, I think of a color can uh, can give it. What color should I give it? Like a, a pink or I don't know. We'll see that in a second. Uh, so that's the first one. The next coin is Cardano. Right, and I'm going to be quick on this. I'm not. I'm not going to be too long. I'm just going to give you DCA prices and then we'll we'll leave the video at that because uh, I don't want to be too long on it. Twenty one pence right now. I was telling you that you could be buying uh, what thirty five pence. So it's not that bad. It's still a good price. So you know here like this zero point two uh, two one. That's a that's a good price to DCA and buy some more. Uh, so ah, so five months ago it's thirty five pence. Okay, quant ninety five pound. What is it at now? Is it worth dollar cost averaging or do you just continue to reach a goal? Because some of these coins may already be higher than the original prices that i showed you uh quant Continue. quant is uh that's in dollars hold on let me refresh it um hold on <coughs> 89 pounds 90 quid so it says 89.99 i'm just gonna call it 90 i'm just gonna round up and call it 90 hold on where's my little cursor here we go uh so you're getting it relatively cheaper uh, 95 pound cheaper dollar cost average good, good price right this one's interesting moonbeam because I was showing you at 49 pence a piece, it would have probably been a challenge for you back then to get 2,000. I mean, I don't know, maybe you've got 200 right now. Maybe you was in this phase here trying to get the 2,000. Well, I'll tell you what, now is a really good opportunity to do that for Moonbeam because, you know, the prices have, came, have come down. I don't know how much longer they're going to last at these prices, but definitely a good time to dollar cost average. Look, because 2,000 right now, 550 quid. Whereas before, it probably would have cost you about uh, 1,000 pounds. So... You know, I'm going to put this in the moon being 27 pence. These are all DCA prices that I would recommend people doing. You do not have to follow this. Again, not financial advice, but this is what I would do as an investor. I would dollar cost average and see these as great buying opportunities. And then we'll come back on this video to see the differences, right? Um, if you have Delta, because I recommend the people having the Delta app, when you put uh, these tokens into your Delta app, if you do buy at these dollar cost average prices here, it will give you a, a different average rate uh, of, of your price, meaning that let's say you was buying a coin at a pound, you know, let's say you was buying, buying also sandbox at a pound, and then now you're buying it at 30 pence, your average price is no longer a pound. 
it would go down. It should be like 50 pence or something like that. So that would show you on the on the thing once it's done. How do I change the colors here? Uh, it's got some little color things up here. Let me just see. I don't know which one to go with. Uh, blue. What's that one? Green, blue. Can't you just give me another nice little colors? Uh, I, I'd probably do it another day. Uh, I should do it another day. It doesn't matter. Uh, so the next one is Zilliqa. This has come down a lot in price. Look at this. It was three pence before. You were getting it... Uh, what is it 70 percent cheaper i think something like that zero because it's like a penny right now i was watching this let me have a quick look yeah penny what point zero one zero point one point zero one three so uh it's at a penny just you know penny and a half almost a penny and a half point zero one three that's a Zilliqa. It doesn't let me do that. It just rounds it up to one because it's uh, less than 0.5. Uh, and then the next one's Gala. Look at this. Gala's an interest. It's four pence before. That's the price I was telling you to buy five months ago. Four pence. Gala right now is sitting on... What a steal of a buy. A pe Someone's at my door. A penny and a half. So I would say go for the penny and a half. One minute, someone's at my door. Who's this? My mum was at my door. So let me continue. So Gala right now is a penny, just un, under a penny and a half. So this for me is a fantastic time to be dollar cost averaging and stacking up your Gala. Would it let me do this? Let me just have a quick look, see if I can do it. Uh, put that pound sign there, 0 0.014. <coughs> I suppose when I click it, it shows it here, 0 0.014. And, and you know, if you do take this sheet, then it should show it for you as well. Next one is uh, looks. <coughs> If you want to know more about these tokens and uh, projects, what they do and stuff, you can do that. You can go on Google, sorry, no, yeah, Google or uh, CoinGecko, and you can Google them or, you know, go onto the websites over here because they show the websites. Where's the websites? It's here, look, Gala Games, and then same for Looks, right? Because look, <laughs> Looks, look. Uh, looks will have uh, its website here, and you can talk, you can see more about it. Uh, we were buying, what well, I was telling you guys to buy Looks at, let me have a look. Uh, 18 pence so you know it's come down a bit it's about 12 pence now so it's still a good buy still a good dollar cost average 0.27 12 pence 0.12 uh, so do my little pound sign and obviously if you want to convert this to dollars you can just use a converter 0.12 uh, the next one <coughs> VRA it was 0.035 look at this guys well half of 0.035 is 1.0.0017 so it's half the price VRA because it's come down a lot. I'm hoping for it to go less than 001. Because if it does, then that's a steal of a buy for me. Because I will buy up loads more. Uh, 0018. So I'm just going to do 001. You know, just to round it off. Actually, I'll see if it lets me do it. Hold on. So the pound sign, uh, 0.0018. I think it just says 001. Uh, it says zero. <laughs> but if you click on it, it shows here 0018. There's a way to change it, but I can't remember. It's just because it's less than a penny, so it's showing up like that. But, you know, you can see it up here at the top, 0018. Uh, so there is a way to change this. How do I change it? Uh, there's a way to do it. I can't remember. I'll do it. I, I, I will do it and I'll do it another time because I've done it in some of these. Like here, you can see 0035. So there's there's something that I did so you could see it properly. Uh, but I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, next one was AGIX. Uh, three pence was the price I was telling you. I think AGI has gone up. Let's just have a look. AGI. AGIX. Uh, and that's because, you know, AI will become a, a big trend. So 0 0.038. So it's around about the same price as what I was telling you before. So, you know, you're not really dollar cost averaging on this one. You're just going to be buying it at the, the prices of what it kind of is kind of thing. So, oh, <laughs> that's 38 quid. No, I didn't say 38 quid. Let me highlight this and do it again. So 0 0.038, like that. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't show it. Why don't it just show 0 0.03 at least? Like three pence. Show me the three. No, just doesn't show... I need to sort this out because it's coming up as zero now. This is becoming a pain. All right, there we go. Hold on. Let me double click this. Ah, hold on. Okay. Why don't it stay there like that? I'm going to have to look into that one. I did it here. Uh, but when you double click it. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on. What if I was to take this and make it wider? Nope, that doesn't do it. Uh, but if you double click them, it shows the prices here, right? So anyway, uh, outer ring. Let's have a look at what outer ring is sitting on. Uh, GQ. Uh, real quickly, so about this, guys. You know, delay zero zero one five. What price was I telling you to get out of ring? Uh, zero zero two. So you know, you're a bit lower in price uh, to be dollar cost averaging zero zero one five. Uh, I will work this out and make these so you can see them because right now it's just being stupid. It's not showing me the accurate prices. I can't remember what I did. There was something that I did to make it so you could see these prices. Uh, do you do you right click it? 
It's bugging me. It's just bugging me. Uh, let's have a look here. Smart lookup. No nope. pace. No, nope. no. Nope. I'll come back to it. Whatever I did here in this one is what I need to do here. Okay, so I'll figure it out. Uh, the next coin, XCAD. XCAD was £1.25. Let's have a look at how much it is today. How much would you be dollar co uh, cost averaging on XCAD? Uh, you would be dollar cost averaging at a price of 83 pence. So I'm going to put that in real quick. Uh, so real quick, 0 0.83. And then the next one is uh, Morpheus. I was saying to buy this at, what? Hold on a minute, that makes sense. Oh no, Realm, Realm, Realm. <laughs> I'm just trying to line it up. Realm was 0 0.02, that's came down a lot. I think it's sitting under a penny right now. Let's just have a quick look, Realm. Uh, this is a steal of a buy, but again, not financial advice, you decided we're gonna do 0 0.08. All right, so, you know, this is gonna play up for me, but I'm gonna make sure these numbers show properly, 0 0.008. Uh, <laughs> why'd that come up as one pence? Did I change something wrong? Realm. 0 0.0, okay, it just rounds it up to a penny. Okay, cool. Uh, next one, Morpheus was one pound, one pence. What price is Morpheus right now? Uh, M oh, MNW, Morpheus is sitting on, uh, uh, get 97 cents? Oh, okay, it's just quite cheap. This is quite cheap, uh, 80 pence in it, yeah. So 81 pence is the price of Morpheus. So if you want a dollar cost average, I think this is a seriously good buy right now. Anything under a pound for Morpheus Network is a good buy. Uh, time to be dollar cost averaging in my uh, at my eyes 0 0.81 and then the next one is stratos uh, 62 pence was when i was telling you guys to buy it originally what price is stratos right now uh, some of them haven't really massively fallen low since you know the whole ftx thing so some held on quite well 48 pence so you know that's the dollar cost average price that i recommend uh, get it out <laughs> recommend you go for uh 0 0.48 pence last one alliance block five pence was the original price that it was when i showed you the video i think it was in the episode 23 so go back and check it uh albt what is it right now is that three and a half pence isn't it uh so 0 0.037 it's going up up 5.8 percent today uh 0 0.037 0 0.037 so guys once you've done this if you decide to dollar cost average and you know use these new prices you should have a newer balance like meaning that your new average price will not be for example 95 pence it won't be 35 pence uh it will it will find a more of an average price as to what you paid which means when it goes back to that new average price that's your balance that's that, that's like your average uh, you haven't lost anything you haven't earned anything then anything above is your profits if you know what i mean i know what i mean so guys i'm gonna leave it here if this was helpful to you drop that like give me a subscribe hopefully this help uh, video helped you and become more balanced more uh confident in your investment because some people get unsure you know they see prices fall they panic they sell hopefully this guides you a bit more in 2023 to decide what you want to do and you know just keep firm have a firm belief in the projects have a firm belief that what you're investing in is good and yeah just dollar cost average so if you like to drop that like give me a subscribe thank you for watching if you don't want to get it if you don't want to miss it become a patreon i've got seven tiers i'm grabbing it up look seven tiers take your pick i recommend my exclusive vip partner tier is it loading is it loading it's loaded. Uh, let me show you this tier down here. Hold on, let me, let me click on this. This one here, because it unlocks all my posts. And then you can see when I'm buying, selling, staking, you see these videos early, so you can get the dollar cost average prices and everything else. Uh, and I've got another tier, you know, CEO tier. You check it out, it's the tier above, if you can afford it, because it gives you my uh, VIP Telegram group. Guys, thank you for watching. Where's my thing? And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.